Following the client entity update to Ace Wizard delivered in April 2017, this is a six minute training video showing what has changed for assessors. We're now logged in as a subcontractor assessor and you can see the user account we're logged in with. For the assessor, the new client entity will mostly affect how they add a new project. When you click Add Project, you'll see the pop-up window has been changed so there's less scrolling of the mouse making it quicker to enter data. And you can still use the Tab key to move quickly between data fields. The field names have also been updated to better represent the questions being asked and to be more in keeping with standard TM44 naming conventions. You'll only see the assessment firms that your account is linked to. Click on the assessment firm you want to use or simply start typing the assessment firm's name in the box. The equipment owner and operator company name could also be known as the end client and is stored in AceWizard as a client entity which is directly linked to the assessment firm it's associated to. If I select a different assessment company, the available list of equipment owner company names changes. You can select a company from the drop down list or start typing in a text box to shorten the available selection. If the client name isn't in the drop down list, just add the name to the field. When you click update, the system will record the company name as a new client entity. To further speed the process up, the next three data fields will only show information that's already been linked to the equipment owner company name. The equipment owner ACE username forms the login username for the end client logging into ACE. In this example, we already have three end users linked to this end client. If more than one username exists, you can select any one for this project, as all users linked to the client name will be able to see the project when they log in. By selecting a different end client company name, these last three fields will be reset. As with the equipment owner company name, if the correct data doesn't appear in any of the drop down lists, simply type the new data into any of these three boxes. When you click update or save, this new data will be stored against the equipment owner company name for use by all assessors linked to the assessment company. You're now ready to complete the remaining fields. Remember, a project will be hidden from the client end user views unless the project status is changed from open to draft or closed. Finally, we've added one extra button to launch you direct into the project to start adding report data. When you arrive in the project from the Add Project page, you'll see some of those new details you've entered, such as the Equipment Owner Ace Wizard username, displaying in the top menu. Remember, a project with the status of open will not be seen by the end client. If you want the end client to also be able to see the Advanced Ace Wizard report, you must remember to link the PDF to the project. When you click Link PDF, or upload the files, the document will be placed within the attachment folder for the client and also it will prompt you to change the status to either draft or closed. Like the Add Project page, the In Project Edit page has also been updated. You'll notice that any of the new data we added when we created this project are now selectable in any of the drop down boxes which relate directly to the equipment owner company name. For this project, as we've created a brand new equipment owner Ace Wizard username, you need a method to send the username and a first time password to the user. 
This is done from within the project by clicking the Send Email button. If the equipment owner user has already logged into Ace Wizard previously, then their email address will be displayed in this field and will not be editable by the assessor. For an end client user who hasn't logged into Ace before, fill in their email address here. The subject of the email is already displayed for you but can be amended. The email is shown to the end user as being sent by the Ace Wizard support team. The email will also contain information specific to the assessment firm that's carried out the inspection, including the name and any unique URL to log into the system. The email also contains the username and the first time login password. Thanks for taking the time to watch this training update. For more information, contact support at acewizard.co.uk.